David, you look uh, very tired and the car is uh, dirty. What has happened? That was the voice of Roberto, who is the owner of La Gerlanda, this very beautiful agriturismo, this farmhouse in Umbria where I was staying for a glorious week one year in May. Uh, that day I'd gone into the Etruscan hill city of Todi, and as I was driving up the hill into the center of the city, uh, I didn't understand one of the road signs, and I stopped to try to figure out what it meant. And, of course, what it meant was, don't stop here. So I saw this little red car in my rearview mirror, and it kept coming, 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 and then drove right into me. Uh, got out, and the woman uh, was uh, hysterical and stunningly beautiful, about 45 or 50, and uh, she was a dead ringer for Diane Cannon, who married uh, Cary Grant in uh, both their later years. Uh, and uh, uh, she, 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 you know, she, she was just so upset. Uh, she said, don't go to, I tried to explain to her the insurance of my rental car. And uh, by the way, my rental car was fine, but her little red car was folded like an accordion. And uh, so she said, don't go anywhere. She said in Italian, I'm calling my son. So her son showed up. He was about 28 or so. And from the beginning, he said, mama, sua culpa, sua culpa. Uh, it, like, it's your fault. And I kept laughing and saying, yeah, that's a good, I like Sua Culpa, stay with that. <laughs> anyway, she actually phoned me a week later when I was back in Venice and wanted me to give her 2,000 euros uh, to help defray the costs. And I said that wasn't going to happen, even though she thought I was a lovely person. Uh, later, uh, when I did finally settle the car in the town of Todi, I you know, looked around, and then I had a wonderful dinner, over which I met this American aviatrix who had actually flown uh, 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 some sort of a, uh, a flight contest once from Vancouver to London, England. That was quite interesting. But then when it was time to leave, I allowed myself about half an hour to get back to this little farmhouse, or big farmhouse, it was a villa, it was beautiful, and uh, I went madly off in the wrong direction for about 20 minutes and came back and then went in the wrong direction two more times, three times in the wrong direction, which only leaves one last choice. Eventually, I ended up completely lost on the top of a little mountain uh, surrounded by uh, livestock and so on. And, and usually in situations like this, I just cry a lot and, you know, smash things. But in this case, I just quietly let the car guide itself out of this field. And pretty soon there was Saragano, this little village, and I found my way back home. And Roberto said, Davide, Davide come and he took me in his office and he sat me down at his desk and he said look my sister she has made a strawberry shortcake and I'm making you some tea you look on my internet look for your email and just forget about such a terrible thing you know all the guidebooks pickle all the guidebooks to Venice say don't worry about getting lost you will so that's what I say tra la la have the strawberry uh, cake and tea